the Gadget Classic Pro 2019 version. And today, we're gonna pull a shot and try to do some latte art. So this machine right here is highly regarded as one of the nicest prosumer machines to start off with. And there was a good deal on Amazon that I couldn't pass up. So we are gonna to try today to make a nice cappuccino with stock components. I haven't done the nine bar upgrade yet. I don't have a bottomless porta filter yet. Let's just see what we can get with stock. You see the porta filter is 510 grams. This tamper right here is 58.3 millimeters, which I would highly recommend because the basket itself is larger than 58 millimeters. So you wanna be able to get all of the espresso on the sides of the basket as well. And here we go. That shot looks pretty good, pretty good. Now, as far as the steaming goes, this little machine has a tiny, tiny boiler. And so the tip is to press the steam button and don't wait for this light to turn on because by then it will already be too late. Just wait six or seven seconds and release a little steam if you want. Make sure that you get your pitcher positioned in the right spot in the meantime and start your frothing. This is a 400 milliliter pitcher and I recommend to fill it up just to the bottom of the spout at the most just about like that is gonna be about right. And what you wanna do is get your milk positioned just right ahead of time. For me, what's worked is to put the tip here just on the right side of the pitcher, submerge the tip just a couple of millimeters, and be sure that when you turn the steam on full blast that you get a, a whirlpool going and at the same time inject air. And keep in mind, the drip tray is your friend. You can use the drip tray to rest your fingers on, eventually to rest the pitcher on, and that stability is gonna also keep the vortex going. So let's give it a shot. I've got my steam tip positioned to the right side. I'm gonna give it just a little tilt, and we're going to Hit the steam button, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. After you've injected enough air, you need to break up the bubbles a little bit with that vortex. And I can feel it's already getting quite hot. So I'm gonna turn off the steam switch. Turn off the steam, let that rest. Clean the steam wand. Additionally, I'm going to purge the steam wand by hitting both this button and this button at the same time, the coffee and the steam, plus open up the steam wand. Okay. And this is the milk that we got out of it. It's pretty nice and creamy. 
Oh crap, I spilled a little. Not my best latte art, but I do get a little bit of stage fright when it comes to making a video. You can see that it's made some really nice microfoam. Just look at that. Ooh, nice. Mmm, tastes good too. On method two, I'm going to do a little bit of narration. I'm using my Eureka Spezialita here. It's uh, my favorite current grinder. I'm using my 58.4 millimeter tamper here. Make sure I get all the coffee on the sides. Stick that port filter in there. And I'm going to put it right into a clear cup so we can see the grain forming. Focus. There it is. It's running a little fast. I could grind that a little finer. I do still have that 15 bar spring in there, so I think that will make a difference as well when I switch that out for a 6.5 or a 9 bar spring. But still looks good. Just started the steam. We'll let it heat up for about 7-8 seconds and then purge a little bit of water. And here with this method too, what I'm trying to do is stabilize the pitcher based on that steam wand and the spout of the pitcher. So you can see I found a nice angle there and I'm not resting it on the drip tray anymore. I'm resting it against the side on the bottom and I'm resting the top spout of the pitcher against the steam wand. And this stabilization of the top of the pitcher against the steam wand and the bottom of the pitcher against the side of the drip tray is what helps to keep that whirlpool going. Again, notice the angle of the pitcher. It's tilted slightly and that helps also create the right angle. Okay, you can see uh, that there's not much crema left on that espresso shot, which makes it quite difficult to pour latte art. That's not going to quite work out here. But nevertheless, you see it is a very nice milk foam, super creamy and delicious. Just as a recap, make sure not to turn the steam on for too long before starting. Just wait six, seven, eight seconds, then start your steaming. You want to make sure to position your pitcher in the right spot to begin with, to inject air. And the drip tray is your friend. Use it to stabilize your hand while holding the pitcher. And with a little practice, I think that you will get some good microphone from this machine. As far as latte art is concerned, that's going to take a lot of practice. I've been practicing already for years and it's still the one thing I'm not quite satisfied with. By the way, I plan to do a couple of modifications with this machine. I have ordered the nine bar mod. So we're gonna take a look at that in one of the upcoming videos. I'm gonna do a comparison. Thanks a lot for watching guys. And until next time I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. <laughs>